This video provides information on setting up WOLF simulations at NCI. First of all, you need to know what to find documentation. WOLF has its own extensive documentation provided by NCAR. This documentation includes the manual, the tutorial, information on new releases, and a link to the WOLF user forum. The CMS also provides documentation on specificities for NCI on our wiki. When porting the code to NCI, we also simplified the compilation so that you are only provided with options that are relevant to the NCI machine. Please use the information on the wiki and on GitHub to compile and install your code and do not redo what we have done for you. Finally, you should use the WOLF tutorial, which is a good source of information to review what the WOLF workflow looks like and how to set up a simulation. So how do you start using WOLF at NCI? It is recommended to become a member of the SX70 project via my.nci.org.e. I said previously, when we port the code to the, to the GADI machine, we have already set up all the options that are relevant to the machine. So we advise you to use the version we have ported and to follow our instruction for compiling the code. If it's the first time you are using WOLF, it is recommended to go through the WOLF tutorial to understand how the WOLF workflow works. Although in this tutorial, do not follow the instructions for compilation and only starts where it creates a domain. The meteorological data for the single domain tutorial case and, the, and all the geographical data that is provided by NCAR are already installed on GADI in the SX70 project storage page. That is why it is useful for you to become a member of this project. Once you have installed the code and run through the tutorial, you may want to set up your own experiment. If you are going to run real experiments with WOLF, you first need to decide which geographical data to use. And CAR provides a range of geographical data from different sources and different resolutions. Please check the WOLF documentation page from NCAR to for more information. All of the data provided by NCAR is under the SX70 project space. Once you have run the GeoGrid that exists program to create your grid, please spend some time checking your grid. You need to make sure that the grid is in the correct location and you also need to make sure that you use the right projection for the, the location. This can be done using the map fact variables in GOEM file. Those variables need to be close to one across your entire domain, if possible. Now you also need to decide which meteorological data you want to use. Is this data available in grid format at NCI? If it's not available as grid format, has someone else already used it and might be able to provide you with code to reformat this data to intermediate format? Finally, you will want to decide on the dynamic and physics options to use for your warp simulation. Beware of creating your own mix. 
some of those options are not coherent with each other and will not give you a scientifically sound simulation. Additionally, some of these options are only valid for a range of horizontal resolutions and should not be used outside of this range. So some meteorological data has been extensively used before to force Wolf um, at LTI. For those, some utilities or some information can be found to create forcing data for Wolf. For ERA interim, the CMS has developed a small program called WPS ERA, which is stored on GitHub. This program will run WPS for you using ERA interim as meteorological data. Make sure you run your grid first to check your grid. For ERA 5, the CMS has developed another program called ERA 5 grid, which is also stored on GitHub. This program will convert ERA5 data from NetEDF to GRIP format, and then you can run WPS on this new um, GRIP format ERA5. For CMIP data, the Codex experiment has run WOLF simulation forced by CMIP5 data. On the web page linked below, you can see all the steps they have taken to reformat the semi file data into grid format. For other data sets, if they exist only as NetCDF files at NCI, please ask CMS via the help desk if it would be possible to get them in grid. Depending on the size, it could be possible. Or you may have to write your own code to reformat that data either directly to the intermediate format or to grid. If you have any problems doing so, please contact the CMS via the help desk. Finally, be careful of your inputs. It is your responsibility to ensure the information in the two namelist, namelist.wps and namelist.input, is coherent. These two nameless files have information that need to be identical between the two. They need to use the same dates, the same grid resolution, the same domains, and so on. Wolf will most certainly crash if this information is not the same in the nameless that input and the initial condition file or the boundary condition files. But we may not want to run through the WPS first and only find the problem when running via wolf. You also need to make sure you use the correct table files for the WPS, geogrid.tpl, vtable and mailgrid.tbl. Please look through the tutorial for more information about those files. This is it. If you have any questions when setting up your simulation at NCI with Wolf, please contact the CIMS team via the help desk. Thank you.